Welcome back, welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Nuzlocke. I need to heal up. Is the team preview accurate? It is indeed. Okay. Um, in the last episode, we fought the Kahuna. We fought Plumeria. We... I think that's all we really did, right? We unfortunately lost the Rotom. Sad days. Uh, but, you know, innards out kind of gets the best of you sometimes. Uh, from here, we go to... Let me look at the map, actually. Where do I go? I think it's the all the way to the right, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go to the Aether Foundation, I believe. So we got to run all the way down here. Excuse me. Uh, we got to talk to someone. Is it Aether Foundation? I think it is. I literally think I said, like, oh, I need to pay attention when we get to this area. And then I didn't pay attention. Um, typical breezy move. Can I get an encounter? Get me to that beach. Can I, I think I get an encounter here. I love me an encounter. Hano Beach. We can get an encounter. Let's go, baby. I did not know we were going to get an encounter today. I'm going to be honest. Um, let's go in circles with the Lapras. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. Give me, give me something. I mean. Hello? Thank you. Okay. That was obnoxious. For a binnacle. I'll have for a binnacle. Binnacle's not a bad mod. Binnacle's not a bad mod. It's kind of bad. It's kind of bad. I'm going to throw a heal ball. <laughs> I just read one of the comments and it made me laugh. Um, Let's T-Wave you. Get a status on you. I should have just put the 100% catch rate. I don't know why I didn't. I guess it kind of helps when I kill encounters and, you know, there's a little bit of difficulty that gets added to it. And you guys like to laugh at me messing things up. I was just reading Pi's comment. I mean, uh, sorry, Scott's comment about uh, me saying, I love Tyra and then complaining that all my encounters are trash. But here we are with a binnacle. And just to continue that theme of trash Pokemon. The only issue with... Tyra is that I have a rock type and I have a dragon type on the team at the moment. So it's kind of like I'm not getting rid of Ava. Ava is staying on the team. I rock out with the starters, okay? Um, also, we've been get, I've been getting a lot of comments lately. One of them here is from James. It feels like bots because I'm getting comments on like a ton of videos from like random names and it's five names and it's like consistent, like a random name person. This has got to be a bot that comes by and just puts a couple names on videos. And like, I can't tell how, what, it's definitely bots. Like, I can't imagine it's anything else. It's literally a random name will leave a comment with five names on like three different videos. And it, it's just like super consistent. Like, I don't know what's going on with it, but hey, appreciate the comments. Um, let's go with, let's go with pasta. Let's go with pasta. Oh, and also you said I had the Tynamo in the box and I have a Thunderstone now. Could get the Electros. Could go for the Electros. That's not a terrible idea. Um, I was debating on adding that to the team previously. It's a pretty cool Mon. Nice to have a pure electric type. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll rock out with this team for now. No sudden changes being made. And we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Let me just shut the volume off on my phone just in case anything pops on. And let's get to the Aether Foundation. Uh, we got to fight... Um, I don't know if we can win the battle. I think we can. It's uh, it's an Ultra Beast. It's usually in the Heligo. I think it's still in the Heligo in this. I actually don't know. don't remember if they changed it, but... I don't remember if it's like a winnable battle. So I don't know if it's like it'll count like for the Nuzlocke. I really don't remember. It might just be like an Omni boosted Mon and, or something like that. Or it just has a boosted stat of some sort. I feel like I remember you have to like hit it a couple times. Then it just runs away or something. I don't think you actually like beat it. But we'll see what happens. Guess we'll see. If it's something super, super obnoxious, I probably just won't count it. But if it's kind of like a regular situation. 
We'll see what happens. Uh, this is probably gonna be a pretty slow episode because we got a lot of talking to do. <gasps> Sudowoodo. Got a lot of talking to do. Oh my god, look at those moves, Sudo. The nickname Sudo Wudo, when you spell Sudo like Sudo Legendary. Best name. You spell Wudo like Sudo, but with a W. Greatest greatest nickname I've ever heard. Never gets old. Look at my champ in the back. They always use the Machamps to move boxes. He's a wrestler. Alright, just because he's jacked doesn't mean he wants to do all your manual labor. Alright. You know how important I am? Yes. Branch Chief Faba. Now I must go speak with the president about our conservation efforts on Akata. Show these children around it and then take me to the pizza president as well. Blah, blah, blah. I don't like that guy. I don't like him. Also, fake beer. Bush NA. Probably one of my favorite NA beers. I don't know why. It's not like crazy. But I like it. <sighs> Alright, show us around. Come on. Do, 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 do. This type of section of the game that I would probably like to like you know speed up through more but part of the playthrough you know we gotta we gotta play through the game that's what this is this is a let's play so we're here for the content exciting or not we're here for a playthrough of the game hopefully it's a full playthrough and we make it to Elite Four and conquer the champion but we will see what happens push another button we go upstairs I remember we come back here later. I remember in the regular Ultra Moon, uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, you come back here later and you fight Guzma, the Team Skull boss, and he has like a pretty solid team. Like I'm pretty sure he had like, I want to say it was a Heracross that was like broken as hell. They like, had a really good move set. But uh, yeah, this is a very very solid game. If you have never played Gen Seven, highly recommend. Highly recommend. Um, we also, I say we, but um, Dylan, one of my longtime mods, if you've been watching all my playthroughs, go back to like the first, I think, Fire Red or Leaf Green playthrough I ever did, and I named a Del Caddy after him. It was a live stream playthrough. That's what I was doing at the time. Uh, Dylan the Del Caddy. He updated, we have a Google Drive. A Google Drive. I feel like I said that really fast and mumbled. Uh, we have a Google Drive. You can get the link to it on my website, hgvbreezy.com. There's also merch on there if you want to get some merch. And on the YouTube, there's actually links to the merch below uh, somewhere near like the subscribe button. <laughs> subscribe. Uh, but he updated it and he put a bunch of uh, pre-randomized um, ROMs in there and a bunch of like different ROM hacks are in there as well. So if you guys are looking for some ROMs to play, um, got some randomized versions on there for you. If you wanted to check some out, um, pretty much similar things that we're doing here, just randomized Nuzlocke settings, pretty much the same I always run. So I want to try those out go to my website nothing no cost to it it's all free it's just a thing that's available i don't technically know if i'm supposed to do those but i mean if i get yelled at for it it is what it is what's going on here oh wow, i look so shocked oh, that's what i actually looked like the wormhole it is still not hell ago i love this pokemon this is, i love ultra beast i think I think they're all pretty sick. Guzzlord's probably the only one I think is kind of whack. But I'm a big fan of... Big fan of the uh, Ultra Beasts. Which ones? What other ones are there? That, like, I don't like. I don't think there's really any. I love Zerkatry. I love Nihiligo. I like Blacephalon. I like Celesteela. Buzzwole. Um, Kartana. What other ones are there? I don't know. I think they're all pretty sick, though. Oh, no. Not a stuffle. Its defense rose sharply. Good thing I'm going to hit you with an oblivion wing, buddy. All right. This shit one shot. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I, for some reason, I think the normal... I mean, the normal battle of that... Oh, you lead with like a ground type to destroy this thing. It usually uh tanks a hit and then it goes away after like half HP or something. But yeah, kind of kind of torch that right there. Uh, uh, uh. 
Man, I got the... I just remember the Ultra and the Krozma battle in this. It gets like a plus two in all its stats. Whatever that mod ends up being, I really hope it's not good. I really hope it's not good. Yeah, I hope it's like a Stuffle again. That'd be best. It's also something I could keep in mind if I get like clear smog on a Pokemon, like Amoongus. It could be worth my while to use that, like have that as a option for these totem battles to kind of clear the stat changes, give me a better chance. Mainly for that old or Cross one. All the other ones, it's usually like plus two in a certain stat, but that one I'm pretty sure it gets plus two in every single stat, which is bonkers. Okay. Malasadas for how? Oh yeah. And I get a TM for Psychic, right? Morning Sun. Cool. And now... I think the reason they give that to you there... Is be... Actually, I think... what Did they change it? Because I remember right after this boat ride, coming back in the first one, you battle how... You don't even have the opportunity to put Psychic on your Pokemon. But I think they let you get off the boat here and, like, kind of assess your team before, like, walking a little bit and fighting him. I could be wrong, but we'll see. We might be having an important battle, though, with how right now. Which is a little scary. You want a Malasada? Sure thing, buddy. Sure thing, buddy. Why is that scientist walking around? Hmm, that looks suspicious. Looks real suspicious there. And we are at the third island of the playthrough. Ula Ula. Uh, which one is this? Oh, it's the one with the, the mountain up to the electric or steel totem, whatever it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one with the with the with the Gyarados Lake in the middle thing over there. Yep, yep, yep. I'm remembering. All right, land ahoy. No, do we not fight right here? Guess we'll find out when we get there. Okay, I think... Yeah, I think... He still wants to fight you. I just think it's... When you get to the garden. Am I bugging? Did they just take that fight out completely? I'm going to heal here and check the store. Um, I think I'm going to take Meloetta off the team. For the Electros. I do have a Hitmonchan too. Steelwork or Bullet Punch on that's crazy. Um, but nah, I want you on the team. Oop, what is that? Bam. You're not holding anything. Okay, let's check your store. You're a TM shop. You have Dragon Hammer. I Powder Snow Crunch I want to buy Crunch. I'm not going to buy Powder Snow. Not really worth IMO. Uh, do I have any rare candies? No. Let's see. Crunch. Keldeo can learn Crunch. Do you need that? What's your moveset looking like? Double Kick, Bubble Boom, Glaciate, Core Enforcer. Nah. Um... Uh... I guess I could look at what I can teach to Tynamo. Parabolic Charge. Can't learn it. But you can learn Dragon Pulse. Everyone can learn Dragon Pulse. I don't know if that's a coincidence. I feel like that's a coincidence. But we'll put it on you. Put it on you for now. Let me update the layout. Let's put Meloetta instead of that. We're going to put Tynamo. Oh my god, he's so big. He's so... Oh yeah, here it is. Here's the battle. Alright, Tynamo's on the squad. Like I said, I think it evolves at level 30. Someone said I had a Thunderstone. I actually didn't check. I forget you lead with Huntail. Oh, excuse me. Um, I know that you have... You're level 36! I know you have Ice Fang. I think I'm going to Thunder Wave this. I'm going to Thunder Wave you. I don't know if you still have Ice Fang. You're not going to one-shot me with Ice Fang. I'm a Dragonite. Full power. Let's go. I 
honestly want to stay in. I'm gonna be honest with you, I really, really want to stay in. Um, well, that's silly. That's a silly thing to do. So I'm gonna switch into my grass type. Still weak to ice, but a bulky guy. And I can giga drain a bunch of the HP back if he hits me. All powered again. You hate to see it, Huntel. You really hate to see it. I mean, I love to see it, but yeah, I hate to see it. Look at that. That's a crit, and you get powered. Oh. oh, I hope you heal up right here. You don't. Okay. Huntel just did nothing. Absolutely nothing for the team. But what he did for me is gave me a chance to get some levels, because I am underleveled, apparently. Synthesis. Don't want synthesis. Nah, I have potions. If I'm really going to heal up, I'll use a potion. I'm going to try not doing too much of that in battle. Obviously, I've been trying to say that, but it happens when it happens. Malamar. Do I have any good answer for this? Do you have a... You have Megahorn. I'm going to Ava. I have Megahorn on Ava. I knew it'd come in clutch. Side beam. We tank that. that doesn't, that's not going to hurt. Oh boy, that hurt. I have an Aviolite somewhere. Why is it not... Wait. Oh. He would have stolen my Aviolite anyway. That's hilarious. The odds of me complaining about not holding on to the item I wanted, and immediately that item would have become useless, is kind of hilarious. I hope you guys can see the comedy in that, because I sure can. Okay. FAFSA or Forest. I think I'm a FAFSA. Your physical defense is really good. Let's go to my grass type. You can go for what? Bulldoze, probably. Knockoff. Oh, that's such a good play. Oh, that hurt. Slam. That's not going to do as much. Giga Drain will tickle you, though. Tickle that. Pickle. I, I, I had to finish it. I really didn't want to say that, but I had to. I had a Yachi Berry. That's really cool. He swaps out into a Scolipede. Oh, that's such a good switch. Well played. Well played, my friend. Um, A big bug move is going to come out here. The biggest of bug moves is going to come out here. I really want to go Skittles. Skittles might be good here. Just go for a Flame Burst. Because you could go for... You might have a Ground move. I don't know. What do you do? Bug bite. Okay. You ate my Aka Berry. How dare you? Oh, you heathen. Poison Tail. It's resisted. No poison. Good. And you get cooked with a Flame Burst. Beautiful. Beautiful. What? He has knockoff? Knockoff, switcheroo, bug bite. He just doesn't want me to have moves. I mean, items. Bennett. Do you? You might have Shadow Sneak. You could have Shadow Sneak. I really don't want to mess around with that. Um, Shadow Ball. Special Attack's not that crazy, right? Excuse me. I thought Bennett had, like, good physical attack, terrible special attack. That did way too much damage. It did way more damage than I'm comfortable with. Let me tell you. All right, we're going to flame charge here. That shadow ball was crazy. I don't know. It feels like a lot of damage. Does it not? Am I, am I bugging here? Does that not feel like a lot of damage? Wait, what happened to my... Oh, he used embargo. My leftovers don't work now. Bro, they don't want me to use items. Embargo. Knockoff. Bug bite. Switcheroo. Like... This is ridiculous. Also, I've been lower level than every single Pokemon on his team so far, which is kind of terrifying. Haxorus, no. 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 I can't. I, I, you're not putting me in this situation right now, right? You're not putting me in this situation. I'm looking up Haxorus's moveset. Level 34, Sun and Moon. Ultra Sun and Moon. Gen 7. And level 34, Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, False Swipe, and Slash. I have to stay in an Icicle Crash.
I don't think it kills. Flinch. D dance. Perfect. Oh boy. Okay, I'm plus two because of the flame charges, so I'm good. Do I just oblivion wing here? There's no way you live oblivion wing. Zero chance. Zero chance. You're up to a low HP. It's too strong of a move. It's stab. Okay. Oh my god, those flame charges saved me. Oh, okay. That was terrifying. I want a fairy on my team. I can use items again. Let's go. And you are pretty much gone. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. You're gonzo. You're by our gonzo beans. Perfect. That was scary. And I don't need to ever worry about being overleveled ever again. I've been feeling like I've been getting overleveled because like some random trainers in between. But then we get to these important battles and I am constantly right on par. So. Whew. All right. Let me go heal on up. Because we just got smacked up and clapped up. Yikes, man. I really need... Once I get Gigalith and an Electros on the squad, that'll be way better. Because it's not like Haxorus. I could probably be fine with, you know, switching Gigalith in there. He's super good physically defensive. And, you know, it probably would be fine. Okay, let's go over here. The Melee Garden. We can get our encounter here. I don't think there's too much going on here, right? Except, yeah, I can just do my encounter. He just blocks the bridge. He just stares at the bridge like he's never seen a bridge before. But we can get my encounter. Let's pull the nicknames back up. Celebi. Interesting. Interesting. I'm saying... Oh, you... I got outplayed. I got outplayed. He safeguarded. That's such a good play. I'm so happy you did that. You tried to safeguard again. Interesting. Interesting decision. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that damage. Let's go for an Ultra Ball. Celebi's obviously a legendary Pokemon. Uh, four times a week to bug, which is a little scary. But, I mean, it's base 100 everything. It's one of those... What are they... What are they called? Pixies? What are they... The classification of, like... What are they called? Like, Jirachi, Mew, Celebi, uh, Manaphy. The ones that are all base 100 everything. I forget what it is. Ava wants to learn Stealth Rocks. Let me get rid of Oblivion Wing. Um, I don't know why I can't think of like what they usually call those Pokemon. Maybe it'll say it on the Pokedex entry for this. Celebi. We're going to name this. You know what? I'm not a fan of the 49ers. Go Chiefs. But the 49ers and Jets are currently playing Monday Night Football. And you know what? I can hear it playing right now upstairs. And I'm just going to use it. You have Harvest with Zoom Lens, uh, Magical Leaf Ancient Power, typical typical uh, Celebi set there. Uh, I'm going to send you to the box for now, and we'll we'll see. Let me sneeze. <coughs> Whew. Um, that might be joining the squad. I don't know, I because like I said, I've been complaining about the team being a little too bulky and slow. So Celebi would be a good you know offensive mixed Pokemon to have on the team. But Amoongus has been phenomenal. And we do have the Black Sludge, and he's the only one that can take, take use of it right now. Uh, we'll see, but we're going to wrap it up there. Uh, so thank you, everybody, for coming through. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave some nicknames. Uh, in the next episode, we'll clear the Melee Garden, do what we got to do in there, and then we will keep exploring the island. So, like I said, thank you for coming through. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.